I really wasn't too sure how well uh, this 360 camera would do in capturing low light situations like this. So I wanted to capture this at the mouth of the cave. Anyway, it really doesn't go much further than this, but it does descend just a little bit and a few more, a few more feet down. It looks pretty muddy. But this is Ice Cave. I don't know if you can see it much. And what's nice about this cave, it's a natural erosion of limestone over millions and millions of years. And the angle of it prevents the warm air that's circulating above it from seeping down into it. So this cave is a natural refrigerator. The temperature in here stays a constant 34, 32 degrees all year long. It doesn't feel that to me, that, but that's what the sign said about it. I'm guessing it's more like, you know, low 40s, maybe high 30s, but it's absolutely very comfortable in here, you know. Like I said, I didn't really know how well this would capture the scene, so at least I wanted to show uh, what I could, because I don't think this does good in low light. Anyway, this is probably going to just be the short video. I'm going to climb on out of here. Oh, look. There's a little uh, squirrel or chipmunk heading out that way. There he goes. Anyway, the next spot I'm going to take us to is going to be probably over at Doug Creek, so I can get a refill on a drink while I'm up here on top of Cedar Mountain. And then I eventually want to take us over to the top of uh, Cedar Breaks. Oh, look, there's another one. 